Jeremiah 31, 25 says, For I have given rest to the weary and joy to the sorrowing. This passage is a great passage of hope and comfort to God's people in exile, wearied and haggard from being in a strange land instead of their own land, and having to live with new practices of foreigners meant little rest mentally, emotionally, and physically. This also meant that they struggled to find a reason to smile. According to the scriptures, we are strangers in this world, and we're not home yet. Today, the troubles we experience are exhausting. Several studies revealed that the depression rate has nearly tripled in the U.S. In speaking with several counselors, the number of people that are looking for help from addictions and disorders is so high that the wait list for in-treatment centers means months before many can find relief. So this promise in Jeremiah is very relevant to us today because we also need rest and joy. As travelers in this sinful world, we find ourselves as aliens to the true intent for life and living. God promises that there is coming a day that will bring a restful peace and joy. On that day, God's people will sleep well and live with energetic joy. The truth is, you can either receive that promise or choose to reject it. Those who receive it in faith begin to experience some of that rest and joy immediately. God's promises bring a taste of that rest and joy as we believe that there is light at the end of that proverbial tunnel. In theology, we talk about this experience as the now. So now hear Jesus' words to you. Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Jesus is God's promise come true. He carries our burdens and replaces them with rest. In a life where we both have Jesus and are still waiting to see him face to face, we have both peace and unrest. We have both sickness and health. We experience both sorrow and joy. Heaven is still ahead. And theologically, this is known as the not yet. Every step we take in this life is another step closer to home. Each day we look forward to the things that are not yet. And each day of the not yet, we can find rest and joy in the now because Jesus is with us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, as you walk with us through this world, would you remind us that the things that we see around us are going to pass one day? And what is going to come to us is this gift of eternal life and a place that you have made for us. Grant to us that faith to trust you even when we are sad, even when we're struggling with depression, even when we have those moments of anger about things that we see that are not right in this world. Give us the faith to trust in you in all things. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.